We're going to pressure test a couple of hoses here. We have a device made specifically to do this. It has vacuum ports on it that are essentially identical in size to the vacuum ports on this throttle body, uh, which is very typical throttle body, and, and uh, the sizes are identical to what you'd find on a lot of European cars from the 80s and some Japanese and American cars as well. First hose we're going to test is a very high quality rubber hose. Uh, this is a BMW hose and uh, they use pretty good stuff. It seals very well under vacuum, which is all the factory 80s BMW C. Uh, it doesn't seal quite so well under boost, and we're going to demonstrate that. This is soapy water, which helps uh, form bubbles and identify any, any leaks. See, we have the uh, air compressor set to about 15 psi, so we will uh, pressurize the tube and, and uh, watch for leaks. You can see bubbles leak out right away uh, as, soon as, we, as soon as we put the air on, and uh, it loses boost pressure pretty rapidly. Uh, again, this hose works extremely well for vacuum, but it's not so effective under boost. Uh, those leaks, if you have a supercharged car, cost you boost, and uh, if you have a turbocharged car, the turbo has to spin up a little bit faster to compensate for the air loss. So I'm going to pull this hose off now, hear the rest of the air escape, dry it off, and we're going to test a silicone hose from one of our competitors. This particular type of silicone hose is, is fairly good quality. Uh, it's sized a little bit too big for this for this application, but it is what they recommend for it. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna use it. They uh, actually recommend zip ties. So, in fairness to our competitor, we're gonna use their zip ties on this on this hose and uh, get it nice and tight. There we go. And at the other end. I don't really like zip ties. They're a huge pain to use, especially on a car that has a lot of hose because you have so many of them. Also, they, they don't handle temperature all that well. They're just cheap plastic, and uh, their temperature rating is far lower than the hose itself, which sort of defeats the purpose for using silicone in the first place. Uh, again, we'll spray our soapy solution. And let me get my air here, and we'll connect it. And again, that does not seal under boost. We get bubbles forming right away. Now our own hose uh, seals under boost to very high values. We have a separate video for that, but uh, check that video out. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks.